The search for a super-intelligent life form or species in outer space is always on in full swing. This hunt for signs of alien life includes efforts like sending the Perseverance rover to collect samples of Martian rocks, to space telescopes like Hubble and Webb zooming in on distant exoplanets. On Earth, the Allen Telescope Array, situated in San Francisco, California, is a radio telescope array dedicated to astronomical observations, and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence also known as SETI. Most SETI projects are focused on looking for artificial or unusual signals coming from elsewhere in space, that might have been broadcast by advanced life forms. Others involve sending out our own signals, showing that intelligent life exists here on Earth. And now NASA is planning to send a message to Jupiter's moon Europa, hoping that it is received by an intelligent life form. But why has NASA chosen Europa as the destination for this friendly message from Earth? Have they already found signs of an extraterrestrial intelligence on Jupiter's moon? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. This will not be the first time that NASA has tried sending messages into deep space, hoping that they are received by an extraterrestrial life form. Back in 1977, NASA placed an ambitious message aboard Voyager 1 and 2. The Voyager message was carried by a phonograph record, a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc containing sounds and images, selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. Almost 47 years have gone by, and still no alien life form has shown signs of receiving that message. Or maybe they have already communicated with us through an advanced technology, that we are yet to discover or even comprehend. Fast forward to 2024 and NASA is trying to contact aliens once again. This time by sending a message to Jupiter's moon Europa. NASA is doing so later this year, as part of its quest to find alien life on the gas giant's moon. The spacecraft named Europa Clipper will blast off from Florida's Kennedy Space Station, in October, toward Jupiter's moon Europa. The commemorative plate mounted on NASA's Europa Clipper spacecraft, will be carrying the so-called message for the aliens on Europa, if there are any. The plate is shaped as a triangle, and has messages on either side hoping to be discovered by the extraterrestrials. The metal plate is made of titanium and is about 7 by 11 inches. One side features, U.S. Poet Laureate Ada Limon's handwritten, In Praise of Mystery, a poem for Europa. It will be affixed with a silicon microchip stenciled with names, submitted by more than 2.6 million people. The other side of the plate, features waveforms that are visual representations of the sound waves formed by the word, water, in 103 languages. At the center, is a symbol representing the American Sign Language sign for water. Europa has shown strong evidence of an ocean under its icy crust, with more than twice the amount of water of all of Earth's oceans combined. This message-bearing metal plate on the spacecraft will honor that connection to Earth in several ways. Europa Clipper is expected to reach Jupiter by 2030, after a 1.6 billion mile journey. Europa Clipper's main science goal is to determine whether there are places below Jupiter's icy moon, Europa, that could support life. The mission's three main science objectives are to determine the thickness of the moon's icy shell, and its surface interactions with the ocean below, to investigate its composition, and to characterize its geology. The mission's detailed exploration of Europa, will help scientists better understand the astrobiological potential for habitable worlds beyond our planet. And while doing so, 
Will Europa Clipper also make contact with an advanced alien civilization? We will have to wait till 2030 to find out. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.